you know, routines are probably the best thing that we could train ourselves to do. Routines are something that actually keep you in order, keeps you in track, and keeps you in line. It keeps you in the direct path of where it is exactly you want to go, where you prefer to go. And the thing about routine is when you find it and you and you get in that routine, it's the best possible practice that you could get. But what if your routine is actually hazardous to yourself? What if your routine is counterproductive? Worse yet, what if you fall off that fucking routine? Because damn, bro, I'm falling off that routine right now. So I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> I'm speaking with you know realness and genuine and genuine genuine genuineness look at that you see what i'm saying everything on here is unscripted and it's my routine to just immediately think of a topic you know because i i try to avoid the habit of just saying oh you know i don't got anything i try to avoid the habit of finding an excuse and i i believe improv and and freestyling is probably just about as real as you can get because it's unrehearsed it's it's not planned out it's not practiced right and and you throw on the the record button and i have a choice i have a choice to backtrack and go back and edit or not upload or not use but i want to show you something and i believe that freestyling is going to enable you a open door access unlock my my real thoughts so that I could give to you and share with you my experience and that is a routine that I've tried to follow for now the past year and a half and so as you could see if you backtrack and look back at the previous content you know it's developed it's evolved and so routines case in point are good for you especially if your goal is to get better at what it is you do and this is where that saying repetition is key is because when you repeatedly do something like when you repeatedly uh, do a specific action or a task or or think a specific way you yourself will naturally evolve your skill set will naturally evolve but I want to also talk about the other side, a side that a lot of times we sometimes forget about and it's when repetition or when a routine can actually be counterproductive and that's what I'm going to cover in this video. So be sure to stick around but more importantly if after the video you enjoyed what you saw, do me one solid, comment below, maybe timestamp your favorite part of the video and, uh, and share the, the video link to someone who can also get on this wavelength with you and I so that we could all climb together and more importantly you could take the lessons that I've learned in the long time that I've been on this earth and my climb because I'm no different than you, we're just alike, <laughs> right? We're just alike. We probably had a bad past, I get it. We probably came from a broken home, I get it. We probably had, you know, doubters and haters and naysayers and people that didn't think that we'd amount to shit, I get it. But at the same time, we had the, those select few within our group that knew we were going to make it that rooted us on that cheered us on so we are somewhat balanced right but nonetheless we both are coming from the same exact level and that's start and so I want you to start watching these videos really take it to heart but more importantly get infused with the playlist get infused with the topics that are covered here because they're all different it's consistent and there is a routine that I want to show you by way of example that if you create for yourself you can also evolve and get to exactly where you want to go let's go Welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel and I'm your host. And in this episode, we're going to talk about routines. We're going to talk about the routines that we sometimes find ourselves swaying away from. But yet we all try and we all strive to, to formulate the perfect routine that enables us to be the best version of ourselves. That enables us to be the most confident that enables us to be the most successful, that enables us to be the best father, husband, you know, mom, parent, whatever, whoever's watching this, it is just in, it is just basically the best version of yourself, like I said. And so you might be like, but D, why? You know, why does it take a routine to be the best person of, that, that I could be? And it's because routine is a form of discipline. It's a form of consistency. And I can tell you from experience, just as I had mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have recently fell off routine. I fell off routine of going harder at the gym. I fell off routine of waking up super early and 
putting in time, you know, and work. And we all got excuses. There's always a reason why it happened, right? Like me, for example, kids were were in summer school, so there was no necess- you know, there wasn't necessarily a specific bedtime. And so, you know, when my kids are at home and if they're up, I want to be with them. You know, we do a lot of things during the summertime. We take vacations during the summertime, and so it's very easy to sway off your set routine. And sometimes that set routine is specific times of the day that you do certain things like work out or work on your side hustle or study your craft or you know it could be even work related like times that you specifically focus on originating or putting out fires or what have you so wherever you find your routine at or whatever type of routine you're trying to formulate the key thing is to understand why why is it that you want a routine and the reason why I, I mention this is because there is a counter side to routines and sometimes that counter side is the opposite of pushing us forward but it's routines that actually hold us back. Like I had a routine that held me back and that routine was smoking cigarettes. Meaning that, meaning that I always made time to smoke a cigarette, like no matter what. And it's because of my why. And the why at the time of me smoking cigarettes, dumb as it sounds, I had this belief that I couldn't start my day until I smoked a cigarette. I had this belief that I needed to smoke a cigarette and have coffee in order to get into that mental state that I needed to be successful. And so there was this routine that ultimately formed a habit that was actually counterproductive. It was destructive to my health because not only was it a costly habit, but it was a routine that was actually killing me on the inside. Now, if you smoke, and these are probably words that are really resonating to you, like you're probably getting mad right now, good. I hope it does get you mad because I want you to understand that that shit ain't good for you anyway. If you think about it, there's no millionaire, there's no successful entrepreneur, at least not not commonly known, you know that's doing it and doing it big that smoke cigarettes right like they it's just something that's not a habit of the uber successful and so and so I've been working on formulating routines that are mirrored uh, to the successful those who are you know those who are already at a level that I wish to achieve and so I have found that by using them as a reference when I say them I'm talking about individuals who are already at a level that you you aspire to be, you aspire to reach. And this doesn't have to be in sales. It doesn't. Have, I mean, you could you could look at anyone. I mean, it could be your grandma. It doesn't necessarily need to be for monetary gain. It could just be for maybe genuineness. It could be for integrity. It could be for you know uh, courage, right? Whatever it is that you, that your little heart desires. No, I'm just kidding. I know you got a big heart. But whatever it is that your heart desires, whether whatever it is that you want, what I have found is that when you have an emotional tie to that result, meaning your why, um, it affects you emotionally. Like you, like for example, you know, I'm going to use this as a reference because I'm in sales. I know that being in sales, people buy when they have an emotional tie, when they have an emotional reason to the outcome. And so... Whether it's happy, whether you know, whether it's happiness, whether it's love, whether it's fear, whether it's you know, whatever emotional tie that they have, if I found that if I was able to expose that, then it was easier for me to get past certain objections that really kill a lot of people's sales, like price, rate, you know, cost, reputation. Um, you know, uh, I got to talk to my spouse. My spouse doesn't want it, right? Like these are things that typically stop people in their sale in in their tracks when they're trying to make a sale and this might be the very things that are stopping you from making your sale and my point is though is that emotions are a very strong influence to make you do things right like when like our emotional tie to let's say losing weight is because sometimes it's health and so fear may be the ultimate reason that pushes us or maybe finding love right like we want to find a mate or we want to be attractive to the opposite sex and so it is the emotion of love of 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 you know wanting to be with someone and wanting to attract someone that that pushes us right but if we just kind of like do it just to do it like like we're, we're still on that i should right like i should work out or i should lose weight and you're not yet at the level where your should becomes must like I must work out, I must lose weight, I must win, 
then th those are two different views and and those auto suggestions auto suggestions are basically the words that you you subconsciously choose it it actually shares a lot about you it tells you a lot about yourself and you know in order to even learn a lot about yourself you got to really be self-aware you have to be open-minded you have to you know really check the ego at the door and really pay attention to your inner dialogue because your inner dialogue is actually what creates or forms the discipline that enables you to craft and formulate the routine that is going to put you on the path to get to where you want to go and so I don't want to get too deep on you but at the end of the day it's going to be based on how bad you want it and how strong your emotional tie is to the reason why and so some and so where I was where I was getting at with the counter side of of routine like the 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 opposite of positive right like when 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 a routine can actually be counterproductive is when your routine dialogue is is naturally to look for problems rather than see the silver lining or to you know see the solution or look for the solution and so you'll know that your routine is with a negative dialogue or you habitually think negatively because the slightest notion of a task or or a goal or a challenge or an objective you react negatively like you're like oh, fuck like I don't want to do this <laughs> right and sometimes we get there I get it we sometimes we get there but when you're always there when you're always like ah, you know you have to really pay attention to why like why do you react that way and if you do react that way what are you exchanging it for so sometimes we will forego on going to the gym and I'm gonna use this as an example because I think we can all relate to that whether you're in sales or not you know we can all relate to having to wake up early having to go through the one hour grind at the gym having to get ready having to get mentally fit and then having to still follow up with your own self and make sure you're not just throwing junk food down your throat and so it's this ongoing routine of discipline Whereas if you go into that just thinking negatively, meaning you're solely focused on the problems with it, the grind with it, how hard it's going to be, you start moping around and, oh man, well you got to think, like, well, what are you exchanging it for? What are you exchanging your health and the best physical version of yourself, best possible physical version of yourself, being an optimum health, right, being being at the with with uh, an image of yourself or your body your you know your 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 physique that you imagine or envision or you truly desire what are you exchanging that for are you exchange it for a fucking happy meal right like a like a, a a combo meal at Wendy's an extra day of in and out what are you exchanging it for boo boo it, like another hour of sleep are you exchanging it for Netflix there's got to be something where you're exchanging it for and sometimes it really just takes us to buckle down and 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 kind of be at least enough have enough awareness to know what we are trading it for right because if if we find that it's not worth the exchange then we can find ourselves to to just be back on track and sometimes what innate what allows us or what influences this us to settle for those opposite things or those counterproductive things is is because we have a routine of looking at problems and exposing problems or we have this routine where our mind is wired to look at challenges in a certain way and so my message to you today is that we all have routines sometimes we just don't realize that we have these routines you know I used to have this routine of just being negative about everything I used to have this routine of thinking that everyone was against me I used to have this routine of thinking that sales was a grind and sales was hard and to reach a specific income level was impossible and, and it was it was impossible in that mindset it was impossible until I made it happen it was impossible until I until I surrounded myself with people who who it was not impossible for right and so it, it see it, the funny thing is that these routines sometimes will also keep us away from the positive routines these routines that I'm talking about that we find that subconsciously we find ourselves doing it, it, it can actually sometimes be the very thing that keeps us away from from the the correct routines that we should be learning right so in other words if you're exchanging waking up early with sleeping in then 
t technically that routine is keeping you away from establishing a good routine like waking up early and studying your craft or doing research of how to get into a better mastermind or a better circle of friends or a better network or a better job or a better industry or the answer that will help you unlock where it is that you're fighting every day to go because at the end of the day you're gonna wake up tomorrow right at the end of the day well God willing you know and be blessed show gratitude for that right but you know right like just the expectation so at the end of the day it's gonna be tomorrow it's gonna be next month, it's gonna be next year, it's gonna be five years from now, it's gonna be 10 years from now, ideally, right? And the question is, do we know that what our actions that we do today, everything that we're, we plan to do today is going to directly tie into where we're going to be tomorrow, next month, next year, five years from now, 10 years from now? Are we, are we at least aware enough to accept this? And if we are, how, how bad do we want it? How, you know, the why that we have, like where we want to be in five years or next month or next year or 10 years from now, how bad do we want that destination to be better than it is today? Or are we going to exchange it and just kind of keep things moving? Be safe, right? And just, and just like, you know, what? it'll be okay. At least, at least I can eat, right? <laughs> right? No, it's beyond that, boo-boo. Expand your thoughts. Really think beyond what it is that's limiting yourself right now and challenge yourself, man. Question of the day. What's one biggest thing that stands in your way to achieving your goals? What's one biggest thing that, that literally holds you back or at least what you believe is holding you back from taking that step to really challenge yourself so that consistently you can find the discipline to put in the, the routine that you know you need. What is that one thing, right? Because what that one thing is, is what you're exchanging it for. So you're basically saying, hey man, you know, paradise seems cool, <laughs> but at the end of the day, I'm all right in this, in this area, right? Like that, that is the reason. So comment below, let me know what your reason is. And, and hey, I'm not gonna judge you. If anything, I want the interaction. I wanna know how I can truly help you. So comment below, but more importantly, like and subscribe. Share this link with someone who also needs a routine in their life. And more importantly, follow me at salesremastered.com and check out the, the content that I have on that website. But more importantly, look at all the media channels below and get to know about me. And if you have any questions, don't forget to DM me and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Yeah, gotta stick to the G codes. Yeah. I keep a stick everywhere I go. Uh. I'm from the section where the Asians cold. Frontline pressing of a nigga trying to get bold. Married to the streets, I need a wedding ring.